Hello friends, today we are going to study about frustum of corn. Before starting studying about frustum of corn, first you should know what is corn and you should know all the formulas for corn. Look here, this is a corn. This, this height from point A to B is called slant height. Frame from A to O that is height and OB is the radius. So out of this, you can see it is a right angle triangle. So by the use of Pythagoras, you can find any. Means if you want to find the slant height, this height is called slant height. L is equal to under root H square plus R square. If you want to find only the curved surface area, means this surface area without base. At that time, you, you have to find pi R L. If you want to find total surface area, means this plus base. At that time, it's pi r into bracket l plus r. Then you want to find the volume of that. That is 1 by 3 pi r square h. Now actually why we had done this? Because first term of cone is a part of cone. Look here. If I will cut this cone into two parts, what will happen? The upper part will remain the same only. But the lower part will be converted into frustum of con look here this will be your frustum of con i had cut it into two parts so the base part will become frustum of con now here again you will get the same thing this will be your height but here you will get two radius on the upper part also you will get radius in the lower part take the bigger one as capital R, the smaller one is smaller and the high slant height, half slant height that is called L. Now first I will tell you about L, how we can find L here. L will be equal to under root, here it was H square plus R square, so directly here H square but here we are having 2R. So what we are going to do, capital R minus small r whole square. This is the simple formula for finding slant height or you can find anything if any 3 is given to you you can find the fourth thing out of this 4 with the help of this formula. Then curved surface area of frustum of cone means curved surface area only this part you have no upper part and no and it means only the curved part of these two sides means this. You, it is open from the top also and it is also open from the bottom. Only the curve part. At that time what do you do? Here it was pi r l but here we are having 2 r. So pi then capital R plus small r into Now if we want total surface area means the upper part also and the lower packed from both the part. At that time we have to use the curved surface area but then we have to add two circles means pi capital R plus small, r, small rl plus pi capital R square plus pi small r square. This will be the formula for total surface area of frustum of cone. And then in volume, what we were doing here, 1 by 3 pi r square h. So here also 1 by 3 pi will remain same h will also remain same but r square instead of r square here we are having this r this r so generally is r square plus r square but here we have to take one more capital r multiply with small r also we have to take generally students are taking this to r they forget to take this so here it had changed from r square capital r square plus small r square plus capital into small r so this is the formula for Frust, volume of frustum of corn. This way you can remember all the formulas of frustum of corn. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel so that I can bring more such videos. Thank you so much.